Hi, and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Karen. And I'm Wesley. Today is March 19th, and we're on page 52 in your magazines. And today we have a very useful essay for you, which will be followed by four reading comprehension questions, which actually will be more like listening comprehensions for you, you know, those of you who are listening to the program. Our title today is The Power and Simplicity of the Cornell Method. 中文标题是高效率笔记康乃尔笔记法 And that's something we actually do need to learn how to do well because if you are trying to write down every word that your teacher says, is that a really good way of taking notes? No, uh, yeah. you won't have time to write down everything, even if you're using kind of sloppy short characters. Mm-hmm. In addition, you'll be missing the stuff that he says after the part you're writing down because your brain has a hard time listening and writing at the same time. Yeah, uh, 而且... 你如果说想要把老师写的每一个字都写下来的话，那常常你会错过很多东西，因为你在忙着写哈。那所以这不是一个最好的方法啊。就算你写字再快，你碰到一个讲话快的老师，你就没有办法。In addition, what you really want to remember is the main points. There's a lot of things that some are very long-winded examples. You don't really need to write down the whole thing. You can just write down a few keywords. You need to write enough down that you'll remember it later. But there are a lot of details you can admit, uh, you can omit. You should just focus on getting the main points. Ah, so in the copy book, the time, this is not necessary to write down all the things. You write down the main points, 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 the main 哦，全班抄笔记抄的跟疯子一样啊！大那班上还有所谓的笔记王啊，那个笔记抄的很漂亮，抄的很完整的那种。And oh, mm. everybody wanted to borrow their notes later. Yeah，那考试的时候呢，大家都会去跟着笔记王借笔记，而且很有趣的是，通常笔记王考的都不会比那个借他笔记的人高啊。有的时候借他笔记来看的人考的还比较高啊，所以这个。That's <笑> unfair. 这很有趣，对，但也不公不公平。所以那个这个东西，我记得就是我们当时大家上课。大家抄笔记抄的都非抄的非常的这个流行抄笔记，但现在觉得好像我自己感觉好像不太抄笔记。那我后来我有跟其他同事谈过，他们好像都觉得说，哎，现在好像大家都不太抄笔记。那学生上
那大学同学聚在一起的时候，我们讲到某些课很好玩的，每一位同学都记得老师讲的一些不是课程内容的话。Absolutely right. <笑> yeah, 那老师教了什么东西，大家现在都想不起来了。Right. 但是你如果有笔记的话。啊，回去一看啊、哦，你就会想起来，对对对，当时老师讲的这个东西。But they will remember things that the teacher said that had nothing to do with the lesson. 嗯 ，Yeah， 因为那些东西 ，in a sense， 那些东西是 out of context. Out of context, it makes them think about something different. It's not so boring. <laughs> yeah， 呃，因为它是 out of context， 所以你离开了那个 context， 你还是会记得，因为它不需要 context 来理解来记住。比较突出， yeah, 比较突出。It stands、yeah. out for being different. Yes, that happens. So what I have to do now is I look at my students. I say. Pay attention. This is important.、Mm -hmm. Write this down, and then、mm -hmm. they very unwillingly, oh, okay, they pick up their pens and they start writing.、Mm -hmm. So I will, I will tell them very often. I'll think like, well, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you writing this down? This is going to be on the test. As soon as they hear、mm -hmm. test, then they will react. But <laughs> even if it's not going to be on the test, I'll say this is important. This is a rule. This will help you later. They'll go,、oh, okay, and then they、mm -hmm. kind of reluctantly. Write it down. Yeah, 现在好像变得是你要说服他们，要告诉他这个的价值啊，他们才会 reluctantly 啊，那就是心不甘情不愿的把它写下来。R e l u c t a n t l y, R e l u c t a n t l y, reluctantly. They'll reluctantly. Oh, okay. If you say so, I'll write it down. Info, info. But see, they don't see when it when they hear the teacher say it, they just think do me some. But if I say it's important, they'll say, "Oh, okay. If it's that important, I'll write it down."、嗯、yeah, so it's really okay. Okay, okay. If you say it's important, I'll write it down. Right. 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 As any good high school or university student knows, taking notes in class is an important factor in academic success. In fact, one can be better prepared for exams with good note taking, since it is crucial for remembering, reviewing, and studying class material. While there are various approaches to note taking, there is one particular technique which research has shown to be superior to all others. This technique is commonly referred to as the Cornell method. Also known as the Cornell Notes System, the Cornell method was devised in the 1940s by Walter Pock, a professor at Cornell University. Pock developed his now famous method to help his students take notes in class, as well as help them organize their notes on the spot, thus making it easier to review them after class. One of the best things about the Cornell method is that it requires very little preparation. Simply divide a single page in a notebook into four sections: a narrow column on the left side of the page, a wide main column on the right side of the page, a horizontal title area consisting of a couple of lines across the top of the page, and a larger horizontal area covering about five lines across the bottom of the page. To apply the Cornell method, one simply jots down all of the actual notes from a lecture. Into the main note-taking section, the narrow column on the left is for writing down questions one might have about important points taught in the lecture, as well as for keywords that may need to be reviewed. Finally, the bottom of the page is for summarizing the main ideas of the lecture. By recapping the material in one's own words, a student can determine whether they have comprehended the lecture's overall content. Now, here it is kind of. Flat. I mean,、mm. it, we don't have a big narrative arc. We don't start telling a story, building up the suspense, the climax, climax hits, and then we wrap it up. Now there is a little bit of an arc, but it is a little bit flatter because we're not really telling a story. We're just giving you instructions on how to understand and use a method of doing something. In this case, it's taking class notes. Hmm. 好，所以这篇文章呢，就平铺直叙。因为我们的重点就是要告诉各位这种康奈尔笔记的方法。All right, in our title, the power and simplicity of the Cornell method. So the Cornell method we now know is a method of taking notes that's especially efficient and effective. So it has power. That means it's effective. It works well, and it's simple. 
the uh, noun form of simple is simplicity. That means it's quite easy, and that's the efficiency part. So power and simpl- simplicity really means it is effective and it is efficient. So the first line,、uh, do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. This、这个、uh, power is effective because it has very 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 Not very efficient. Right, efficient means you can do it quite easily without a lot of work.、Mm-hmm. Our first sentence: As any good high school or university student knows, taking notes in class is an important factor in academic success. Ah,、uh, 正如任何一个好的这个高中生或大学生知道的，什么事情呢 ？Taking notes in class 就是在课堂上面抄笔记，所以抄笔记抄这个动词用的是 take take notes. 那 in class 就在课堂上。抄笔记呢，这是一个 important factor， 一个很重要的因素。在哪方面的因素呢？我们常常讲 an important factor in 什么什么。那在这里是 in academic success， 在学业的成功上面。也就是说，你学业要成功，书要念得好，成绩要好，那上课抄笔记是一个很重要的因素。Right, and I think Wesley is right that students in general now they just take fewer notes. So that's why I had to institute the systems that I have. I have the students first of all、I、remind them to take notes, and second, they have to organize them and type them up and hand them in every week. Because in the past, when I didn't do this, they would just write sloppy notes, put them in a pile, and when it was time for the final exam, they'd take them out and look at them. And by then. They didn't remember a lot of things. They were disorganized, and there was a lot of incorrect information. So, by handing in it every week, we could give them feedback and find out what they were not understanding correctly. Ah,、oh, so this Karen 老师啊，他这个会要求学生每个礼拜把他们抄的笔记交上来啊。那 Karen 老师会看。那这个其实是很重很好的方法，因为这样子的话，学生就会想办法把笔记抄好，而不是说把笔记抄完之后乱丢，到考试的时候再拿出来看。那个时候。没有经过整理的笔记，他看的也是头昏脑胀啊。那我自己是没有这样做，因为我一直觉得到了大学念大学，你应该为自己的学业负责啊。但是也许我应该要改变我的做法，因为现在的大学生在某些方面啊，跟以前的大学生已经不太一样了。This is just personal opinion now.、Mm-hmm. I also had that idea. Your university students, you should know better. You should be responsible for your own self and your own work. I thought that way for many years,、mm-hmm. but there are many things that I assume they know that they don't know,、uh-huh. and I realize I have to start from point zero. For example, when you're reading English, you have to pause. I have、mm. to teach it, and we teach very simple conversations in class.、Mm-hmm. In other classes, they might laugh. They'll say, "Such simple English, you know, such simple <laughs> material at this level,、mm-hmm. but they haven't mastered it yet." So. I did have that attitude before, but、mm-hmm. now I realize whatever their level is, I have to find out what their weakness is, and then address the weakness instead of think, well, you know, you're a university student, I shouldn't have to teach you that.、Mm-hmm. Nobody taught it to them before. Yeah, ah, so this Karen 老师他他也是觉得说大学生应该为自己的学习负责啊，但是他现在他会花更多的这个努力啊，因为他会发现说有些学生该知道的事情他其实不知道啊，所以有的时候必须要从头教起啊，所以这个地方当然所以。这个学随着时代的改变，呃，教教学的方法可能也要有点改变。不过抄笔记这件事情，我觉得是不用变的。就学不应该学生还是要尽量去抄好的笔记，因为这个是你学习的一个很重要的过程。而且说实在的，你如果像我现在看到以前大学时代的笔记，还蛮好玩的。嗯啊，你会觉得说，哎，怎么时候说当当初怎么连这个都抄下来了？或者是哎，原来当初这个东西对你来讲是很难的东西。啊，那现在看起来当然觉得哦，这个东西不是那么难啊，所以很有趣的，看看你自己生成长的轨迹。Yes, but、yeah. I had a really, really、um, strong habit. If I liked the class,、mm-hmm. I wrote careful, neat notes. If、mm-hmm. I didn't think the class had a lot to teach me, I didn't take a lot of notes, and they were sloppy. Ah,、啊、对，当然这个有的时候，这个呃，你很喜欢这个课，那你可能笔记就抄的多一点。那你如果觉得这课，老师讲的你不喜欢，你可能就比较不抄笔记或者抄的乱七八糟。Yeah, yeah. So when I go back and look at my notes, I go, "Oh my gosh, did I write that neatly?" That's because I really love that class. <笑>哦，所以看到以前的笔记，如果写的很整齐或者抄的很完整的话，就是哦，我真的很喜欢这个课。Yeah, yeah, and there were a couple classes like that. The other ones I don't know if I've even kept. All right, next sentence. In fact, one can be better prepared for exams with good note taking, since it is crucial for remembering, reviewing, and studying class material. 啊，事实上呢
我们可以 be better prepared for exams， 就是我们可以更好的准备考试啊。那用什么来准备呢？用 good note taking。我们抄笔抄的好的话，我们可以对考试来讲，我们会准备的更充分。Since 是因为 it is crucial for someone to do something， 或者 it is crucial for something。Crucial 就是非常重要的啊。所以抄笔记对什么很重要呢？对 remembering 记忆 ，reviewing 复习 ，studying 研读 ，class material。课程的内容来讲都非常的有用，可以帮你记、帮你复习、帮你研读。那 class material， 各位注意，这个 material 后面没有 s 啊。material 有的时候有 s， 有的时候没有 s。那我建议各位就是一个一个学，像这里 class material 就是课堂的材料，那就不用加 s。或者 reading material 通常也没有 s。可是如果是 building materials， 通常就有 s。你建材就有 s。Good. While there are various approaches to note taking, there is one particular technique. Which research has shown to be superior to all others. Now I kind of doubt that one.、Mm. All others, that's a little strong. Yeah, all others be superior to just be better than. Ah,、uh, now all others, 所有其他的都都不如他啊。那这个当然你可以提出质疑了啊。Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 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 那我们来看到前面他说 ，while 就是呃，虽然呢 ，there are various 有各式各样的 various 就各种不同的 approaches， 这个办法方法 to approach to do to 后面加个。这个动名词表示做这件事情的方法。好，所以 approaches to note taking 虽然有各种不同的方法可以抄笔记，有一个 particular 特别的 technique。那这个 technique which research has shown 这个研究已经显示，这个笔记怎么样？这种方法是 to be superior to all others， 比其他都好。This technique is commonly referred to as the Cornell method. Now, commonly is commonly referred to as 就是一般被称为。好，所以这个技术。这种技巧一般被称为康奈尔笔记法。Right, Cornell is the name of a very famous university. It's in Ithaca, New York State, and it's one of the Ivy League schools. 嗯啊，它是这个康奈尔大学是美国顶尖大学之一哈，是常春藤的呃，常春藤联盟的一个大学。Also known as the Cornell Note System, the Cornell method was devised in the 1940s by Walter Pock, a professor at Cornell University. Also known as 它另外一个呃，为人所知的名字是 the Cornell Note System。好，那这个康奈尔笔记法 was devised 啊，被发明啊 ，invent 或设计或设计 design 啊，或者 invent 是在一九四零年代由康康奈尔大学这位啊 Walter Pock 这个位教授所设计所发明的。Pock developed his now famous method to help his students take notes in class, as well as help them organize their notes on the spot, thus making it easier to review them after class. 所以 Paul developed， 他发展出他的 now famous， 就是现在已经很知名的 method 方法，来帮他的学生 take notes in class， 在课堂上做笔记 ，as well as 同时也帮助他们 help them， 等等，就指学生 organize 组织他们的 notes on the spot， 就是在现场，在当场啊，就是课堂当场就可以组织他们的 notes。好，那 thus 这样子的话就可以 making it easier， 让这件事情变得更容易。什么事情呢？ It 就是后面的不定词片语 to review them after class. 下课之后可以复习 them 就是指你的 notes. One of the best things about the Cornell method is that it requires very little preparation. 那这个康奈尔笔记法有一个很棒的地方是它 requires 就是需要它需要 very little 很少的 preparation 准备 Simply divide a single page in a notebook into four sections. A narrow column on the left side of the page, a wide main column on the right side of the page, a horizontal title area consisting of a couple of lines across the top of the page, and a larger horizontal area covering about five lines across the bottom of the page. 好，这个句子很长，但是其实很简单啊。他说 ，simply， 你只要 divide 啊，分隔 a single page， 你就拿有一页，你把它分隔啊 ，in a notebook。笔记本里面一页，你把它分开来啊，分开怎么样 ？Into divide into four sections， 把它分成四部分。好，第一部分是 a narrow column， 一个窄窄的一栏啊。On the left side of the page， 在页面的左边一个比较窄的一栏啊。然后呢 ，a wide main column on the right side of the page， 然后右边呢，剩下就是比较主要的一个栏啊，主要的一栏，而且它比较 wide， 它比较宽的一栏。然后。接下来呢 ，a horizontal 一个水平的 title area， 一个写标题的这个区域。那这个 title area consisting of 
，它有什么组成呢？有几条线 ，a couple of lines。那 across the top of the page， 当然它是横的，在页面上横横的线啊。换句话说，你在页面上画一条横线，那上面有几行字，你可以写 title。然后呢 ，and a larger 有一个比较大的 horizontal area， 一个比较大的水平的，也就是横的区域，它是 covering about five lines， 大概啊，它差不多有五行的这个空间 across the bottom of the page， 所以在页面的底下，你也画一条横线啊，横线底下大概有五行左右啊，所以页面的上下都有横线，上面那条横线你大概 a couple of 大概两三行就可以了，那下面那个比较区比较那个横的区域比较大，那你大概画个五行。好，那这样就画个就完成了。So now you have a bunch of spaces marked off on your page. We're now going to tell you what to put in each space. To apply the Cornell method, one simply jots down all of the actual notes from a lecture into the main note-taking section. Apply 就是应用啊，或者使用。你要应用要使用这个康奈尔方法呢，笔记法呢，你只要很简单的 jot down. Jot 就是 write something quickly. 你只要很快的写下来 ，jot down. All of the actual notes, 你真实你真正的那些呃笔记，你就把它写在笔记本身。呃，写笔记本身，嗯啊，你就把它写在 from a lecture， 就是这个笔记是从你这个演讲或者上课听来的笔记呢，你就把它写在那个主要的 main note taking main note taking section， 这个主要的就中间最大那一块啦，你就把它写在那边。The narrower column on the left is for writing down questions one might have about important points taught in the lecture. As well as for keywords that may need to be reviewed. 那左边那个重的那一栏啊，从上到下画了一条线嘛。那那左边的那一栏呢啊，就是 the col the narrower column on the left is for 目的是要 writing down. 你可以在上面写下什么呢 ？Questions 问题。这个问题是怎么样 ？One might have 你可能会有的问题。关于什么的问题呢 ？Questions about important points 一些重要的点啊。那这些重要点是怎么样呢？是 important points。Taught in the lecture 是上课里面所谈到重要的点，你可以把它写这个有什么问题，你可以写下来。As well as 也可以写什么 keywords 就是关键字 that may need to be reviewed， 就是这个你可能右边的这个笔记写完之后，你去啊这这一块笔记有一个关键的点或者关键字，你就把它写在左边那个窄窄的那一栏，这样子可以方便你 review。Finally, the bottom of the page is for summarizing the main ideas of the lecture. 那这一页。最底下那那这个横的大概有五行的那一个部分呢，是用来 summarize 来这个呃总结一下啊，写一个这个简单的把把它这个呃做摘要的啊一些不地方。那做摘要摘要什么点呢 ？The main points of the lecture， 就上课的重点，你把它摘要，就写在这个下面的这五行页面底下这五行左右的地方。By recapping the material in one's own words. A student can determine whether they have comprehended the lecture's overall content. That recapping 就是 to state again as a summary 啊，就是重新再讲一下，用自己的话讲啊。所以你用自己的话，其实后面有 in one's own words。所以你 recap 这个 material in your own words。你用自己的话把这个课堂的材料重新写一遍，讲一遍。那这样子的话，学生就可以 determine， 他们可以确定。Whether they have comprehended, 他们有没有了解 ？Comprehend 就是了解的意思，就是 understand 啊，只是比 understand 更正式一点的字啊。那他你就可以确定一下，你有没有了解这个这一次上课 the lectures overall 就整体的 content。好，这样你就知道你这上课整体的内容你是不是有掌握到了 ？All right, four quick questions. One, what is this passage mainly about? 本文的主旨是什么 ？C, a special system for taking notes. 答案是 C， 一个做笔记的特特殊系统。Two, according to the passage, which of the following is a positive feature of the Cornell method? 根据本文底下哪一个是康奈尔笔记的优点 ？The answer is A. It doesn't require much time to set up. 答案是 A， 它不需要很多时间来制作或准备。Number three, which of the following would you find on a page of notes that use the Cornell method? 你可能会在使用康奈尔笔记本呃笔记做法的这个笔记页上发现下面什么东西？ The answer is D. Questions about the class on the left-hand side. 答案是 D. 哈，位于左边左手边跟课堂有关的问题。And number four, which of the following is not discussed in the passage? 底下本文里面没有谈讨论到底下哪一点。The answer is C. Specific studies relating to the Cornell method. 与康奈尔笔记法有关的特定的几个研究。So try out the Cornell method of note-taking and see how it works for you. We'll 